Hey Fab Babes, back with another video. Today is supposed to be Motivational Sunday, but my heart is just really heavy right now for Kobe Bryant, his family. I'm sure you all heard the tragic news today. Uh, to confirm that his 13-year-old daughter, Gianna Maria Honore Bryant, was also on the helicopter and has passed away. Uh, that just into us here, Mike, that his daughter, his oldest, his 13-year-old Gianna Maria Honore Bryant. We're also hearing that one of the her teammates, a parent and the pilot, uh, also those who are included in the five killed in the helicopter crash. Man, he lost his life in a crash. His second born child, she lost her life with him. It's so sad, y'all. Like, I just feel like today we should just have a moment of silence. Like, I don't know. I just I don't even feel comfortable posting anything like happy today. I just feel a way about it. And I'm not even a big fan. Like, I'm not even going to act like I even watch basketball like that. I'm not big on sports. But I do know Kobe Bryant. Like, he goes back. He's a legend in the basketball game. Like, and it just lets you know that life is short. It's just a reminder that life is short. No one knows the day, the hour, the time. No one knows. But we do know for a fact that our time is limited here. Like, we all have to go one day. We all have an expiration date. So I just want to tell you all to live your life. Like, come out that box. Do the things that you've been wanting to do. You know, of course, we want to keep God first, put God first. But life is short, y'all. Don't waste your time in anything that's not serving you happiness, anything that's draining you, taking away from your happiness relationships, friends, jobs, whatever is disturbing your peace, just go ahead and remove yourself from that and be happy, okay? Do what you need to do to just get in a better place in your life where you can just kind of feel somewhat of a fulfillment. Like, of course, we're not going to be fulfilled until we, we've reached all our goals. But in the meantime, we can make necessary adjustments to be happy, to not have these negative feelings or these down feelings, whether it's a person, place, or thing that's causing it. So my heart just really goes out to his wife. I just can't imagine how she's feeling right now. Like, it breaks my heart alone just thinking about her, his oldest daughter. I'm sure the little ones are not really too sure what's going on, but... She not only has to think about her husband, but her child, too, y'all. Her child. Her husband and her child. Like, I just think too deep into things. Like, just walking around the house, seeing their things in the house, just trying to move on and adjust to you never going to see them again. Like, how do you adjust to that? I know one thing for sure that we all have to go one day, but it's just also very sad when someone just leaves too soon. But we can't question God, you know. We have to trust Him. And, you know, I know people, you know, make a big issue and, you know, it just social media and everything just goes crazy when it's like a celebrity or something like that and we need to acknowledge everyone that go and that's true i get that but you know it's just certain things that just really just make you think like wow life really is short like it's just kind of like a reminder to us that you know <laughs> life is short and you need to get right with God, you know. We all just need to be ready for that time. And when that time comes, you know, so live your life. Do what you've been wanting to do. Travel. It's so much out here. It's so much more to this world than 
the state that we're in. You know, I know people that haven't been anywhere. I mean, me, I just recently started, like, kind of traveling more. And it's just so much to see and just so much. Just live your life, guys. Get out that box. Face your fears. Be happy, okay? Whatever is taken away from your happiness, remove yourself from that, okay? I was going to talk about a totally different thing today, and I'll just say that for next Sunday, but today I just want to come to y'all about life is short, be happy, live your life, remove yourself from people, places, and things that's draining you, disturbing your peace, causing you unhappiness that's holding you back. Remove yourself from that, period. I just want to tell y'all how crazy it was for the Kobe Bryant tragic death to hit while you're out at a restaurant eating. Like, this is when it just went live. It popped up on TV, phones dinging from if you're subscribed to, you know, news channels. We got the email, and it's just like the whole mood changed. Everybody was in the restaurant talking about it, in shock, looking at their phones, discussing it. It was playing live on the news. It was just like, it was just crazy that experience i will never forget so y'all i'm just constantly looking at interviews and articles and it's just making me just really like just get real deep like i just think too deeply about things i just let it consume me and i just feel everything so it's just like i'm thinking about the crash they had to know the you know that it was gonna crash more than likely they wasn't gonna make it him having to try to comfort his daughter, like. I just been just kind of sitting here in the dark, silence, no TV, nothing going on. Um, I just keep looking at reports and lives about everything that's going on with Kobe. And I just wanted to end this with y'all just pray, pray for his family's strength. Just pray that God give them strength.